Well, another flannel, so you know what that means. Hi, my name is Justin, and welcome back to This Old Bench, where we take a look at vintage and rare, hard to find Earthquaker pedals. Today we've got a pedal given to us by uh, production manager Jeff France. Let's see what we have. And we've got the Zap Machine. Let's see what he had to say. Early on in my tenure here at EQD, we made the first iteration of the Zap Machine. It was a 20 issue limited run for Fat Tone. I might be wrong as to which retailer we made them for, but I think it was this place. Anyway, we made 22 of them, so we were sure to have 20 perfect bubs. Mine was the second because only three of the screw holes that held the back plate on had threads. It's down to two now. I mainly use it to make my guitar sound more classic by setting the gain at minimum and the bass between two o'clock and all the way up, and then just using the volume as a boost. It sounds nice and clean when played softly and breaks up like a champ when you dig into it. Of the two versions of the Zap Machine, this is my favorite. Love this pedal. Well, let's plug it in and see how it sounds. Pretty cool. Dial that fuzz up a little bit. Fuzzy sound to it. That's awesome. Pull the fuzz all the way down, crank up the volume. Yeah, I never had one of these. I would, uh, I would definitely love it. Is a nice little piece of dirt. Let's see what Jamie thinks. Zap machine. This version of it we made 20 of for a store that is now closed called Fat Tone Guitars, I think, in Chicago. I'm pretty sure that's where they were located. Silicon Germanium Hybrid. The name is obviously a play on the old Zonk machine fuzz pedal. And I think that the idea started out as trying to be a clone of that pedal, and it turns out that pedal sounds really bad. Um, so I think it kind of follows a similar idea to it, which is, you know, a boost running into kind of a fuzz face type stage. But the end result is, is a lot more like kind of like a, I don't know what the word for it is, kind of organic overdrive distortion um, with a little bit of fuzz characteristics. There's an input bass control, which I think works really well in this arrangement. Um, still one of my favorite sounding pedals and favorite looking pedals. I don't know, I like those, those little lightning bolts on it. Uh, I still use mine on one of my pedal boards a lot and it's kind of a, I think a shop favorite. I've toyed with bringing this back as a permanent pedal a bunch of times. We did a second limited run of 350 for Primax out of New Jersey. Um, and that one was different in that it had uh, two gain controls, second foot switch so you can switch between two so you can kind of have like a cleaner overdrive sound and then a fuzz sound and I had treble, in, uh, treble and bass controls too. Um, but similar, very similar circuit. I like this one more. I never see these 
in the wild. I don't think I've ever seen one on anyone's pedal board that, that I didn't know who didn't work at Earthquaker. But the only one that I know of that was in the wild, a friend of mine, um, Kentaro in Japan, he bought one and I think he paid like over $500 for it. And then like he had just gotten it. And uh, I was like, I still have the circuit boards for this. You know, like, could, could make you one, we are friends. Uh, <laughs> but you know, he wanted it. So that's the only one that I know of that I've ever seen resold. You know, like I said, there's only 20 of them. Plus the couple that we have. Thanks, Jamie. Let's rip this thing open. Oh, first thing you notice is uh, there's no serial number on this guy. It's due to the limited run, I imagine. And yeah, look at these white circuit boards. That's awesome. I think it was the first time they broke from uh, the traditional like, green that we've been using for uh, a long time. And I like the white on white. You got the Earthquaker devices zap machine in white on the circuit board. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I do remember seeing these in the shop and you're like, Jamie, what are, what are those? I mean, there weren't that many to grab a hold of, but those are pretty cool. It was like the first time we uh, broke from using like a traditional old or the newer parts. These are old, old stock stuff. They look awesome. It looks like an amp in a box. Well, thanks for joining me on this old bench. And thanks to Jeff France for dropping off his zap machine. And stick around next time to see what comes in the shop. <laughs>